Howdy folks, welcome back to my crazy multiple sides of me repair channel. All right, my fellow DIY warriors and professional YouTube mechanics and comment experts. We've got a Kawasaki for real 691 Victory right there, FR691V. This thing runs like a scalded dog, which is awesome if you don't know what that means in hillbilly terms. Scalded dog means it runs great, but I noticed when it was running, I had some chattering going on from this valve cover over here on this side, a little chatty Kathy. So I figured the lash on these is probably just a little run out. And on these Kawasaki engines, they run a solid style lift system, not like a Kohler that has a hydraulic lift. There's no adjustment. These actually, you adjust these by loosening the jam nut right here, rock and roll jam nut right there. And then you twist this. I mean, that thing is wobbly and you twist the adjusting bolt here. And the idea is this bolt is kind of, it's not centered to the shaft, it's offset. So as you rotate, you're gonna increase or decrease your clearance. On these Kawasaki's, they say at cold temperature, your lash is supposed to be between 0.004 inches or you're gonna have it at 0.006. So the low side is 0.06. And the high side is 0.004 or vice versa take that reverse it yes exactly strike that reverse it well i've got this right here i went right in the middle 0.005 so that's five thousandths that's where we're at well i went to the top one here which is going to be our yeah, intake yeah and exhaust is on the bottom that gives you away the mufflers down here exhaust and intake and over here carburetor side so up here on the intake my intake Definitely, it's not like, it's not bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it because I don't even have any resistance here at top dead center. But my chatty Kathy, I'm pretty sure was coming from my exhaust. Can't do it. There we go. So even when I'm holding that right here at five thousandths, hold the camera with my gut, look at that coming in handy. I can still get it in there. There's oil on here so you don't hear it clicking, but I still have a lot of vertical play on there. So I'm not sure how loose it actually is. But I know that we're going to set it to five thousandths. I'm going to check the top. I'm going to check both of them as well. So what we're going to do, we've got this thing locked in the top dead center, which means the piston is all the way up towards the top. You can look at the spark plug hole and see it's in the top. And you'll know you got it set right when you've got play in your rockers, which tells you that there's no lift applied on them. They're not pushing any of the valves in. You've got a jam nut here. Strawberry jam. Not great, but he gets all the credit and then your actual rotating adjustment nut over here on the top. And these both seem to be just a little bit tighter than 10 millimeters, so I'm gonna see what else fits a little better. I guess 10 it is. Nothing else wants to fit. So I'm gonna hold our adjusting nut right here with this 10. So with this. I'm gonna loosen our jam nut. Okay, there we go, jam nut is loose. So what we're going did, we've got our nice feeler gauge here. Got our 5,000 setting. No, oh, I have the 5,000 chosen. It's not a setting, but whatever. Stick this nice and flat between the stem of the valve and your rocker. Now all I'm gonna do is adjust this until I get a light little retention of tightness under this. That's pretty immediate. So if, I, if I'm, you can't see my hands in the way, but if I'm a little bit this way, it's loosey-goosey. Just a little bit here, and I'm already starting to tighten up. Right there, I could basically let that hang, and it's holding it. That's actually really sensitive, which is kind of cool. Okay, we're gonna hold this until I get just a light little resistance under the valve and the rocker stem there. I'm gonna go ahead and do, so I'm gonna tighten this jam nut. I'm gonna hold this lock right here, tighten this jam. I love ratchet wrenches. Okay, let's recheck my lash. Yep, that's nice. It's just a little bit of resistance going in there and how we want it to be. Five thousandths. Same on here with my loosey goosey one. I'm gonna hold the top, just your adjusting nut. I'm gonna break free the jam. Reinsert my feeler cage right there. I'm gonna come in until we feel just some resistance right there. Tighten the jam nut back up, holding this in place. Let's recheck my lash. That's how we want it right there. Bring you down here to side view. Clean there. And that's just perfect. It's just how we want it to be. A little bit of friction, not a whole lot. And that's how you know. That's how you know they're set right. Once you get that in there and it's just a little bit of friction, 
And that's it, and our set. I'm gonna do it the other side too.